Hey guys, Ruben here. This is my first official YouTube video. And uh, I'm posting this because I've had a couple requests online <clears throat> from uh, fellow YouTubers and fellow people and chats and all that about my machine. So I thought I'd post a quick video on it, nothing too long, but just to show you what I got. Um, it's uh, I got it from ExtremeHomeArcades.com. The owner David. Um, it took me about. I put uh, last April. I put a deposit on it, and I got it in around November. So that's usually the turnaround time. He's always busy. He's always backed up. Uh, he's got plenty of work. Sounds like, <laughs> and he should, because his machines are awesome. So this is mine. It's a four-player pedestal. Um, real quick, I got RGB eight-way joysticks, four-way or eight way on the main part and uh, eight buttons for the one and two player six buttons for the three and the four I got a four-way RGB joystick for uh, those are for the more simplistic main games like Pac-Man Galaga Dig Dug those kinds and then I have two spinners a black one on the left a red one on the right for lefties and righties and you can map those to any game that you want I uh, I'm a huge Tempest fan a hu huge breakout clone fan so for those that was essential for me and uh, they're really cool and I got the Tron joystick or just the regular flight jo joystick and I put it off to the right so it was not in the way of uh, the trackball and that again you can map that to whatever you want <clears throat> The trackball is RGB as well, so you can change the colors and what have you. And then in the front, I got some custom graphics that uh, the guys at uh, Extreme Home Arcades helped me with. I got two recoil light guns on the bottom. They're awesome. You can turn the recoil off or on if you want. Sometimes in really... Uh, heavy shooting games it can get a little annoying <laughs> um, I do have RGB lighting underneath the pedestal I got a plunger button in the front and I have a flipper and a nudge on both sides of the machine and uh, this particular style is called the battleship style and so the radio the the length of the front is really easy to reach and it's really cool when you're playing pinball games and I'm a pinball head, so and just a quick to show you my light gun. I named them. This here is Peacemaker. And this here is the Deathbringer. Cheesy, I know. Here's a side view. And I kind of went with movies that I love and movies that I enjoy over the years you know some Matrix some Terminator on the back I had a little USB Microsoft keyboard that comes in handy when you're searching games and for PC games and what have you and I just basically have attached from a velcro I could pull it off and play whatever I want in the front if I need to enter some some uh, text into folders or what have you it's there it's handy it's easy to get to yeah i got my custom marquee huge alien fan as you can see and last but not least there's the side view got a little dune a chronicles of riddick and a little Tron. Well, there you have it. I also have a, a Thrustmaster steering wheel and that you can set up to play and map to any game you want. It really comes in handy for Daytona, Ridge Racer, all those awesome games. Well, give me a like and give me a shout out, man, on YouTube. Tell me what you think. And uh, just might as well point out, too, that I have the Xbox controllers and I have the Wii controllers for all the Wii games that are on it. Um, I might be uh, posting a video 
of the hyperspin and all that later on on the TV. All right, that's it for now. Thanks, guys. Take care.